You see, Satan has to have permission from God. He can't touch you without talking to God first. That's why when you pray and you kneel down, mother, and you begin to pray for your son and for your daughter, and you begin to intercede for your family, let me tell you something. When the devil wants to get a hold of your son, and can the perdido ahorita, listen carefully. Because of your prayers, God is not going to allow the devil to touch him. He's going to say, you can't touch him because he's covered with the mama's prayers. So viene el diablo, brother, y le quita todo. Y yo todavía está praising the Lord. Todavía está yendo power church. <laughs> He's still praising God no matter what happened. There is a man of God for you. But I want you to know that God didn't pick randomly somebody. It was somebody that was connected to God. God knew he could trust Job because Job was a man of prayer. Job was a man that sacrificed for his children. Decía que quizás mis hijos han ofendido a Dios y él sacrificaba por ellos todos los días. Así tú también debes de orar por tus hijos todos los días. No te olvides que no te pase ni un día sin orar por ellos. Ora por tu esposo que anda medio chisqueadón, quizás. O tu esposa. You need, to, you need to lift them up in prayer daily, every day. Because all of us fail. The Bible says it's better if two walk together because if one falls, the other will pick him up. So if one of you falls spiritually, the other one is picking you up and is keeping you up. So don't ever, don't ever take this for granted, brother. No, pues este, el pastor está hablando por nosotros. Sí, pero tú también ora. Es tu esposo, no el mío. <laughs> You're the one that got to put up with him. So you need to remember that your children need your prayers. Dame decirte algo, mamá. Let me tell you something, mommy. How many kids have gotten killed because they were not covered in prayer? How many kids have been killed with gangs? How many have been shot to death because they didn't have a prayer over them? Prayer is powerful. You need to pray. And the devil doesn't want you to learn that because he'll keep you in the dark. And things are going to happen in you, in your family, in your children's lives because you don't pray for them. I don't think we can bear that guilt. Dios está dependiendo que nosotros levántenos oración a favor de aquellos que nos necesitan. If you consider yourself a child of God, you should never be without praying. Amen. That's right. Because it's because of you, your grandchildren, your children, everybody, they need your prayers. Amen. Call them out by name. Dile a Dios exactamente lo que necesitas. Tú dile al Señor, ¿sabes qué, Señor? Este es el, este es el problema, esta es la situación. This is the situation. But, but, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I know that you're going you're gonna to break through con esto. Y no vas a permitir que pase nada negativo. Tú lo vas a sacar con victoria. Amen. Y te doy gracias, Señor. And I praise you, Father God, because you're an almighty God that can do anything. And I believe you. When you start talking like that, the devil begins to shake. But no eres like... Ay, Señor, bueno. <laughs> and then somebody tries to counsel you. Sí, yo sé, pero, pero. Forget it. I can't stand that. Show a little drop of faith somewhere. Because without faith, God's not going to hear you. Believe God. Believe God. Okay, we're going to go to Numbers chapter 14. Verse 17. Now this is what when Moses answered once God God warned Moses that he was going to destroy Israel. <clears throat> Moses returns back to God the word and he tells him this. And now I beseech thee let the power of my Lord be great according as thou hast spoken saying the Lord is long suffering and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression by no means Clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Pardon, I beseech thee, the iniquity of this people according unto the greatness of thy mercy. And as thou hast forgiven this people, 
from Egypt even until now. And the Lord said, I have pardoned according to thy word. God is going to tell you, because you prayed, that's okay. It's going to be okay. Porque tú oraste. Porque tú hablaste conmigo y siempre has estado conectado, me has obedecido. You have obeyed me, you have lived a righteous life, and you have followed me because of that, because you're connected to me, and you have interceded, I'm going to pull through for you, and I'm going to say what you do. What's where we say, God will do, that's, what's, that's the promise of his word. Now, let me just skip a little bit here, because este, <clears throat> Moses presented to God his mercy, ¿verdad? la mercy. Uh, I, uh, Hezekiah presented to God the seed of righteousness. Abraham presented innocent people. He said, Lord, mira, esta gente inocente también lo vas a matar. You know, he presented something to God. So let's make sure that when we pray that we have something to speak to God about. And if we don't have nothing to present, go to his word. And say, mira Dios, tú eres un Dios misericordioso. Yo sé que ni yo, ni mi familia, ni nada, hemos sido lo mejor que hemos hecho. Pero sabes que we're relying on your mercy. That's what your word says. I want you to know God's going to take that because that's his word. That's what Moses did. These people didn't have a prayer. They didn't deserve a prayer. Esta gente. They deserved to, to be annihilated the way God wanted to. But Moses, he didn't say, okay, Lord, remember these people, how they served you in righteousness. And they, he couldn't say that because the people were wicked. Pero Moses said, sabes que no voy a ir por aquel rumbo porque no hay nada por ahí, so me voy a ir por este otro. Y sabes que, Señor, yo sé que merecen morir, pero déjame decirte una cosa. The Egyptians are going to hear and they're going to, you know, they're going to speak bad about you. They're going to say, God took them out of Egypt and he killed them in the wilderness. That's why he took them out of Egypt. Because he was not able to take them to the promise. Don't let the heathen speak those words about you. It's my Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm relying right now on your mercy and your, your righteousness. And, and your love for all of these people, that's, that's what I'm, I'm claiming right now over these people. And God says, es que, all right. Porque Dios es un Dios de misericordia. Remember that? God is a God of mercy. Now, prayer is going to take time. Go with me to Luke chapter 6 and verse 12. We all have time to pray, and I'll prove it to you. How many, how, how much time do you spend watching TV? Think about it. Or playing Halo, or other games that you play. Uh, Arby's, or lo que sea. If we're getting divas in the house. Hacemos otras cosas que nos gusta hacer. You know, erase that. Take it out of your schedule and turn it into prayer power. That's boring. I don't know what to say. In one minute, I'm done. That's because you're not letting God teach you how to pray. You know, a lot of times we say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us. Leave us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen. Ya acabe. Vamos a ver a George Lopez. <laughs> you see your heart is not in it. I don't care what we say. If, if our heart is not in it, esa oración, brother, were words, no más. It's prayerless praying. And it's powerless praying. When you pray, brother, tú tienes que meter tu corazón en la oración. And you have to be convinced in your heart and in your spirit that you need to pray. If you're not convinced that you need to pray, and if you're not convinced that prayer is more necess more needful than food itself in your life, then that prayer is not going to get very far. You're going to get discouraged. You're, gonna, you're not going to find time for it. You're going to be finding yourself doing a quick prayer before you go to school in the morning or to work. <coughs> Una oración de unos 5 o 10 minutos y, y que diga Dios que le fue bien. No, el que le, no le va a ir muy bien es a nosotros. Because we don't take our time. 